Welcome to Faith Exclusive, Episode 7, where we discuss topics that challenge you and assist in finding the solutions for a better outcome and a way forward. I'm your host, Faith. In Episode 6, we discussed forgiveness. In this episode, we are discussing safe places. Our disclaimer is a reminder that this podcast should not be taken as legal counseling or advice. Information on this podcast is for inspiration and we cannot be held liable for information included in this podcast. Do not rely solely on the information shared. If you do, we will not be held liable for such reliance. This podcast isn't a substitute for professional advice. We are not a professional. The content is opinionated and the terms of use are to the best of our knowledge. We also reserve the right to change the management of this podcast. Let's get started. Welcome to a new episode and a new year. May everyone listening experience an amazing new year and met goals. What does it mean to be in a safe place to you? What does it take for you to feel safe whether it's physically, mentally, or spiritually? Research reveals that most people feel safe in places where they feel like they belong without discrimination or prejudice. Places that are genuine in their interactions. Safe places also promote healthier connections and diversity. It provides safety for the expression of thoughts and feelings. Safe places allow individuality regardless of class. The voiceless has a voice through those who advocate their rights. Your mental health is supported and protected because of the boundaries that are in place. If you're joining, welcome to Episode 7 where we discuss safe places. For some a safe place may be emotional safety where you're receiving adequate love and support. Where you feel heard, seen, and understood. The absence of abusive language, humiliation, unhealthy criticism because we all know that some criticism is necessary for becoming a better you. I believe that emotional safety is also peace of mind. There's nothing like a peaceful environment. Another example of having a safe place is acceptance. Being accepted regardless of your culture, ethnicity, or gender. The ability to show up as yourself, and showing up as yourself would be respectfully. To know that humanity itself supersede everything else meaning we recognize humanity for what it is and should always maintain a certain level of care for one another. The fragility of life itself should be enough to handle one another with a sense of delicacy. If you're joining, welcome to Episode 7 where we discuss safe places. Let's explore what it means to be physically safe. Where those around you respect your boundaries. No means no, regardless of who it is where men and women bodies are respected, where there's an understanding that you have to respect the other person regardless of the role you play in their lives. It's not okay to physically cause harm to another person or force yourself on someone else. Body shaming and mocking another human being because they look different from you. It's important that everyone feels safe and have some level of trust in the environment around them. This applies in relationships, workplaces, religious sectors, families, and schools. The space for expression without physical harm or injury. Physical safety should mean no man or woman is ever in danger of another human being forcing ownership of them for trafficking, perverse pleasures, or monetary gain. If you're joining, welcome to Episode 7 where we discuss safe places. What does it mean to have spiritual safety for those who live a spiritual life? Is it being covered daily in prayer? Having someone teaching you so that you grow spiritually? Is it the ability to find balance for life and mental health in the written word? Spiritual safety is having a place that helps you grow and mature in life. A place where the written word won't be used to manipulate your vulnerabilities. A safe place in this area consists of vulnerability for the benefit of spiritual growth. The increase of emotional intelligence because you're developing undeveloped areas within you. Your life and health matters. You're learning your true identity in Christ, what your purpose is and how to walk in your true calling and fulfill destiny. You can trust who's assigned to lead you on this spiritual journey. If you're joining, welcome to Episode 7 where we discuss safe spaces. 
let's shift for a moment so that we will know the effects of being in an unsafe place. It could be a matter of oppression, mental instability, and abuse. Unsafe places can destroy lives and rob you of peace. It could cause injury that takes years, maybe a lifetime to heal. Intellectual growth is hindered. Emotional damages are sustained and under development. It can destroy a whole family. Purpose is at a loss and destinies are misaligned. Your resources and finances are extorted. Therefore it's important to create safe places for all. Here's a few key points to start with. Increase knowledge. Address mental health issues. Stop turning a blind eye to misconduct of any kind. Hold each other accountable. Have more open discussion for the intent of following a solution. Create strong boundaries. Create consequences. Stop being silent about what's happening. Stop protecting the perpetrator. Embrace diversity. Form communities for open discussions without judgment. There's other things that can be done to secure safe places for all. I hope this was helpful and it shed some light on the environments you've been in to determine what type of place you currently occupy. I wish you well. That brings us to the end of this episode. We appreciate you during our discussion regarding safe places. We hope this ignited something in you that provoked your curiosity. As always, we welcome you back and appreciate your listening ear here on Faith Exclusive Podcast. Please subscribe, like, and share.